New this afternoon, State School Superintendent Tom Horn claims to be looking into what he says are concerning things being taught in public schools. Colleen Sakura was at his news conference today where Horn presented some of the things that he says have been called into the state's Empower Hotline, which was set up as a way for concerned parents to report teachers. Colleen, how many investigations are going on right now? You know, Mark and Tram, while Superintendent Tom Horn says that he's received 30,000 crank calls into this hotline designed for parents to report issues in their students' classroom, he would not say today how many legitimate concerns have been called into that hotline and how many of those are being investigated. Horn also would not lay out the formal process that those calls deemed legitimate are being followed up on or exactly what standards the claims are measured against to determine if they are serious enough to follow up on. Just saying that the one person at the Department of Education working on these hotline calls part time has been in talks with the districts over the few examples presented today. Now 12 News is not describing those examples Horn presented as we have not had a chance to contact the districts involved themselves to see if they are legitimate or how the department is following up with them. Now. Horn also wasn't sure the department could force districts to stop teaching any of the curriculum being reported. Why should parents call the hotline? What would be the point of, of calling if you can't change it? Well, there are some things. First of all, we could try to use our influence. Secondly, uh, I mentioned that if, there's, if, if a teacher is abusing the position of using a captive audience uh, to promote a, an ideology, uh, that might be unprofessional conduct or a principal or, or a superintendent. Um, so there are things we can do. I said I wasn't sure the extent of what we could do to force it, but I, there definitely are things we can do. We'll also no note that Horn says no teachers have lost their jobs over any of the complaints made to the hotline since it opened in March. And he says that that is not the goal. Now, in a statement, Arizona Education Association President Marisol Garcia said Tom Horn continues to be an embarrassment to the state of Arizona. Instead of making any actual effort to promote and elevate our public schools, his office is keeping busy fielding prank calls and pursuing random allegations and complaints, some of them years old. Arizona deserves much better. Now, 12 News also requested copies of these phone calls and emails that have been sent in to the Empower hotline in March, but none of those documents have been uh, sent over that we requested. We're live in Phoenix, Colleen Sakura, 12 News.